I just came back from Korea. In Korea, hallelujah. Yeah, no. You know, the Lord Jesus is known all over the world. He's known. Oh, but not everybody knows him in the way that he wants them to. Because you can know about somebody, but not know him personally. And God wants you to know him personally. Not just know about him. Not just know about him. You know, you know him like you know Barack Obama or Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump or some other person. Yes, you know him like that. But he wants you to know him intimately, personally. Personally. Because the Bible says, this is eternal life. That you might know him. To know him. Personally to meet him. Is the path from death to life. Oh, you can meet him today. Jesus Christ is here. He's here. You know, the Bible says, Jesus says, all power in heaven and earth has been given to me. Right now, all power in heaven and earth belongs to the Lord Jesus Christ. He went to a cross for each and every one of us. He rose from the dead to give life to each and every one of us. Oh, there's no better news than that. This isn't life. This isn't life. Jesus came that you might have life and life more abundantly. Oh, it doesn't consist of the things that you can taste and touch and smell. I'm talking about within you. I'm talking about God by His Holy Spirit coming to live within you. Oh, and most of you are filling your life with relationships that leave you miserable. You think that, oh, you're going to go to this lifestyle, that lifestyle is going to give you peace, but it doesn't. And you're still miserable. You're still not happy. You're deceiving yourself. You're still not happy. But God wants to give you joy. Joy unspeakable and full of glory by the Holy Spirit. No, I'm not a sinner. No, I'm not a sinner anymore. I used to be a sinner. Yes, not any different. I used to be locked up. I used to be locked up in a cage like you are locked up in a cage. That's, that's very symbolic. This is very symbolic right here. You know, there is, there is a division. There's a division between you and God. And it's your sin. It's your sin. The Bible Jesus says, loves all of his creation. Your sin has separated you from your God. It's separated you. Oh, but the Lord's hand is not short, the Bible says. The Lord's hand is not short that he cannot say. It's not that he cannot say. His ear is not told. God's ear is not told that he cannot hear. But it's your sin that has separated you from your God. And you will not hear. You harden your heart against the Lord. You harden your heart against the Lord. I have. Absolutely. And that proves my need. That must prove my need for the Savior. The fact that all of us have done wrong. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Hey, we're not here to confess that we've never sinned. We're here to confess that we have and that we've repented and we find our power and, and salvation in Jesus Christ alone. It's His mercy. It's not by deeds of righteousness which we have done, but according to His mercy. He has regenerated us, uh, regenerated us and, and washed us by His Holy Spirit. We once were foolish. We once were full of lust. We once were going our own ways just the same as everyone else. We were all like sheep going astray. Each of us turned to our own way. But the Lord gave him up for us all. Gave him up for us all. Oh, you need to be faithful. What do you think? Whosoever will come, let him come. Whosoever will come, let him come. Let him come. Oh, but there's one thing. There's a condition. There's a condition. And that's the problem. That's the problem. Most of you don't like the condition. Jesus says, whosoever will come, let him come. But there's a condition. 
condition. Do you know what the condition is? Do you know that God's love is unconditionally offered but conditionally entered into? Did you know that? Most of you are deceived. You think, well, God's love is unconditionally entered into. No, no. Unless you repent, you will all likewise perish, including us. 